Hey everybody, Diana here and welcome back to Foxtail Brush. So today I'm doing a speed paint, but this one is a little special because it's the first time I've ever used liquid masking fluid. And the one that I am using in the video is the Windsor Newton watercolor masking fluid. I bought this at Michael's and I bought the tinted one. I figured if it's slightly yellow, it'll be easier to see on the white paper and it'll be easier for me to peel it off later. So. I think it worked out. You can clearly see where the masking fluid is over my Baymax drawing. So I'm gonna try to give you guys a little bit of information and tips that I kind of learned along the way. I did see one video that said that liquid frisket or liquid masking fluid will eat up your paintbrushes. So I decided to use this little piece of wood, this stick that I had lying around and it worked perfectly. I was able to lay it on there nice and it was a useless piece of stick. So I was able to just chuck it at the end of the project and not worry about ruining one of my nice paintbrushes. So that is a tip if you would like to try using masking fluid, maybe try using like a chopstick or a popsicle stick, something that you don't mind just throwing away at the end. And the other thing I learned the hard way was you wanna make sure that it's a nice, even layer, so I thought that, oh, I'll, I'll shake up the bottle, make sure everything's nice and well incorporated and whatnot. Nope, that was a bad idea. That ended up making bubbles, so when I laid it down on the paper, it was leaving kind of chunks and bubbles on the paper, so I wasn't getting an, a smooth, even layer of masking fluid on there. So my recommendation is, don't shake it, or if you do shake it, let it sit <laughs> so that the bubbles come down. Uh, the only reason why I shook it is because the tinting for the fluid was all settled on the bottom, so I just kind of wanted to make sure it was well incorporated. But, you know, in hindsight, it looked like it was fine. So that's one piece of advice I would also like to give is maybe just not shaking your liquid fluid, your liquid um, masking fluid. So, yes, make sure it's a nice even layer, no bubbles, and you want a pretty thick layer. There was some parts on his right arm, you can kind of see the edge. It's a little bit lighter, not as yellow, and also around his head. There were some parts that I didn't put a thick enough layer on, and it, was, it wasn't more difficult to peel off. I just found that the thicker areas were easier to peel off, and I didn't have to worry about it, you know, kind of the paint seeping through or anything like that. So yeah, try to go with a thicker layer. Like how my husband makes peanut butter sandwiches. He puts a thicker layer of peanut butter. Like, I, I don't know why he uses bread. <laughs> he should just eat it out of the peanut butter jar. <laughs> Anyways, hi honey. <laughs> so that's another piece of advice. And after it dried up, I, I think I left it for a couple hours. I went and did some stuff around the house, but I, I left it for a few hours, came back, it was nice and dry, and I was able, as you can see, I did a, a wash over the entire thing, and I kind of blotted up some of the pulled on, um, pulled on watercolor that was on his body, just in case. I, I, I know it's supposed to seal and stay good, and even if it gets wet, but I just picked up some of the extra water droplets so that it wouldn't seep through. And there were some spots towards the end um, when I after I peel it up, there were some spots that the water did get through. And again, that was because I shook it. There was bubbles and the bubble left a little gap. So don't shake it, guys. This is not a Polaroid picture. Do not shake. <laughs> okay. So now I'm doing these lovely little flowers. And I, to be honest, I don't think I really paint flowers all that often. I don't know why. They're nice and pretty and it was actually kind of relaxing just kind of like doing these fun little shapes. And the other thing is that I didn't really plan this out. I did the Baymax drawing a while ago for my friend who was in the hospital and she asked me to do a drawing for her. So immediately she's in the hospital. Who would be better than Baymax to make sure she receives adequate care? So, uh, I did this Baymax and I didn't really know what I wanted to do around it. I, I knew I wanted it to be kind of like a him be the centerpiece of something. And for some reason I just thought, you know, flowers, what do you do when you visit someone? You, you bring flowers. So, okay, cool. I'll have him holding a little flower and do 
like a wreath of flowers around it. And I didn't plan it out. So because of that, there are a lot of gaps in my painting. I was like, okay, I'm going to do these flowers over here. And then now what? Should I do more leaves? Should I do more flowers? Mm, yeah. So it was a lot of just thinking about it and it went slower. I, I guess it was fun because it was, you know, more in just painting off instinct and not having to stick to a plan. And I was like, yeah, I can just do whatever I want. This is fun. But at the same time, it was a little bit like frustrating because I was just stuck there thinking, what, what should I do next? Uh, I don't know. So another piece of advice would be if you're doing something, plan it out. Do some thumbnails, do a quick sketch and maybe draw, for example, I could have drawn a wreath and then drawn circles to where I wanted flowers and lines to where I wanted leaves. And that would give me an idea. Oh, oh, this is the fun part. This is where I finally peel. Look at that. Oh, isn't that satisfying, guys? It was so satisfying. It literally peels up like a piece of latex, so like a rubber balloon. And it was nice. It all came up in one chunk. And oh, see, I'm cleaning off the, the spots there that the blue got through. But it was okay. Just wash it. Um, got some clean water in my brush. Rubbed it over those little blue spots. And they were able to come up with just extra water and dabbing off the the excess so if you ever make a mistake guys that's why I like watercolor it's a little bit more forgiving <laughs> so yes that was how I peeled the latex or I'm sorry it wasn't latex it was masking fluid but it felt like latex and it came out really nice I did find that the the pieces that were thicker did peel up easier and the side on the edge where his arm and his head were it was a little bit I don't know, I felt like I wanted a tear, but I probably could have just um, kept rubbing it out. That's how I started peeling it off was I just took my fingertip and once all the paint was dry and everything was dry around it, I rubbed the edge of the masking fluid and when a little bit of the edge started peeling up, then I just started pulling it off and it came out nicely. I did nice and slow pull. I didn't want to do it quick, like, you know, I'm not waxing Baymax's legs. He doesn't have hair. He's a balloon. So I just did it nice and slow just in case my paper quality might have had issues with it. I have heard some people say that masking fluid, if you use the cheaper end paper or a cheaper masking fluid, that it will change the texture of your paper and kind of rip things up. And I didn't want that to happen. So like I said, I went nice and slow. Slow and steady wins the race. And here I am adding some shading to Baymax because... I feel like you need to see his voluptuousness, his bouncy, bouncy belly and his round. Like, you just want to hug him. I wish Baymax was a real thing. I remember when I saw it in theaters with my husband and they had a big Baymax in the lobby, like an inflated thing, and I was so excited. And I was like, please take a picture of it with me. So I, like, held its hand. It's so cute. I don't know where that picture is. It's somewhere on my phone probably. But, yeah. So, anyways... <laughs> If you've seen my other work, then you'll know I don't really like using black for shading. So for this one, I decided to go with purple because I thought it went well with the flowers and just it, it, went, it went really well with all the color schemes and just gave everything a pastel feel. So I really like how it turned out. And the way I painted the shading was just I did a bunch of light washes and just layer, layered them up on top of each other after the wash just kind of dried out and kept the edges nice and dark and crisp so it would define them more and then as you went towards the body just lighten everything out so that it just gave it the rounded effect because everybody knows Baymax is known for his roundness right right and here is the completed painting yay so I really liked working with the masking fluid it was a lot of fun painting it on and peeling it off the peeling part especially was very satisfying but I know that if I just tried doing that background wash with just my brush and try to be careful, I would have messed it up. It would have been a pain in the butt just making sure that I didn't get any paint onto Baymax's body. So this really helped. If you guys have any projects like that that you're thinking, oh no, how am I going to keep the colors from bleeding or seeping in? I 100% recommend you try the masking fluid. Just try it out. It's a lot of fun. And as for my friend, she is out of the hospital now. She still needs some healing left to go, but she's doing pretty good. And she absolutely loved this painting, which made me feel awesome because it was a gift for her and I'm glad she liked it. So hopefully you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!